So it's 7.01. Call the meeting to order. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> 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 to approve the regular board meeting minutes from November 11th, 2021. Second. Thank you. Uh, any comments, corrections, questions? Oh, there's something. No, I did notice that she's putting the in the order I called them. Which she I, is. I know. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah the I first time I corrected it, and then this time I didn't because it's, it's, it's fine either way. Right, it's probably right. It's just a more technically correct that yeah, you're right. in the order that they. Yeah. But that's my only comment, nothing else. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, all those in favor of including the minutes from November 11, 2021, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Yeah, I guess I heard people all say aye. <laughs> 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 uh, public comments. Agenda items only. There is no public here. Uh, president's report. Um, I, I, I will just say that we just wish Brittany luck. Um, I hope her next chapter is positive and fruitful. And I, I think it will be. She's, yeah. It was hard for her to leave. I know. It yeah. took her a long time to get some decision, but you know she wanted to do some other things, and she was in a position to do that. So good yeah. for her. Yeah. I mean, if you you know you you end something on a positive yeah. note, and you look forward to the next yeah. chapter. So I yeah. really and do actually, wish and I, you know, we've heard nothing. Um, Accept positive comments about Jesse from her previous employer, like you know the director of Glencoe sent me an email saying we're excited where she's going because the uh, director of Glencoe used to live in Willow Grove. Oh, um, okay. And but um, he said you know we're super. And the former head of new services, Ann Finstead, is now the head of new services at Glencoe. Oh. And so Jesse worked for Ann, and then came. Oh my God! <laughs> it's oh my a relatively world. small world. It really is. Yes. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, so. Andrew had uh, reached out to me and said, you know, she's such a great person and great employee. She's going to be great for you guys. And was, we're really sorry to see her to leave, but we're excited about where she's going because you love yeah. working girls. So. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Well, welcome to Jesse. I'm sure she'll be a great addition. Um, okay. So next up are committee reports. Uh, so we'll do finance. Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the financial statements for the month of November 2021. Okay, uh, general ledger. They used to be the cash statement. It okay. yeah. used to be the Basically, cash statement. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, any questions on that? Nope. We could open up those uh, venue machines. I know. <laughs> I know. That was always a nice chunk of change. It was a nice chunk of change. Yeah. I was hoping to reopen them in 2022, but we'll have to see what happens in the world. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh. Is it possible to do double sided again? Sure. Yeah, no, I had, I had emailed this. For a long time, we had, we had them on both sides. We did have them on both sides. Yeah, we did, yes. Yeah, it was really would have been a thick packet this month, but. Yeah, because <laughs> that was printing about in our marine. I think that was just the setting that the, oh. uh, the printer was on. So, yeah, I would like to go that. Yes. Okay, the check register, is that the next one everybody has? Correct. Yeah. Any questions? Library Furniture and International, is that some of the. Yeah, the really service? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, okay. Yeah, we had paid um, just deposits on most of the furniture, and so a lot of those bills kind of came in at the end of the summer as we got everything and mm -hmm. stuff. So there's still some outstanding things that we're catching up on that, that was all accounted for in that furniture budget line in the fiction budget. Gotcha. Okay. Seven eighty check number the sign company. Uh -huh. What was that? Is 
So that amount is for two years worth of maintenance. We signed up uh, oh, a maintenance contract, right. but they didn't bill us for the first year for some reason. Uh, and so they, when they signed up, they said, you know, we, we mistakenly didn't bill you for the first year. Got so it. The, okay. That's two years. So next year we'll just be like four, whatever happens. Cool. That sure. Four, okay. four, 50 or whatever. Oh. So that's like what general they maintenance. The they come out and they clean it. They make sure everything's working correctly and stuff like that. So I did drive by the other night and it was glowing. So yeah. they're doing a good job. It looks so nice. I mean, every time I drive by, it's it, oh, and it, it night, does it look nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. So it does. yeah, it's better than. Than I, I think I think we notice it more yeah. than everybody else does. Right. I did when we first did it. I remember I had a couple comments from people that lived in the condos that said, sure. "Oh my God, it looks so nice." Yeah, you know, yeah. like they were like frequent users and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's for the maintenance contract for that site. Okay. Okay, the income statement. So we still have yeah, the month of this is November. We still have to December, December right? Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. The What's this stuff? transfer in? Is that is from um, the transfer in. If you notice, it's the four hundred thousand dollars that we added into the budget that was not like when we passed the budget last year. It mm -hmm. didn't include that extra four hundred thousand dollars that we had gotten from either special reserves. Okay. Or, so that's that just okay. indicates that there was a transfer into to the to the budget. And, and, and then you could just word it that way. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I'm just thinking that being yeah we typically haven't right we typically right. haven't when we've done it in the past we typically haven't shown it to the board because it it doesn't change the numbers that you're seeing in terms of what we're spending because those mm -hmm. things are all accounted for but and from an auditing and accounting standpoint the auditors like to see it that oh, okay way. so that's just be because okay it's a clearer yeah because okay. this is actually the way that Bridget from Sickage kind of set it up so she's got I mean not she didn't set this whole thing up but. She's the one that added those so that we saw them now. We've always had those account lines, uh -huh. um, but we don't use them typically because we're not transferring stuff in from special reserve stuff last year or this year because of the renovation. That's why you're seeing it. It's just a cleaner way of showing where the monies are coming and where they're going. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. Just to yeah, no, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> do it so they are 100%. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we started actually the audit process this week we've gotten the emails from them and so we'll start working on that and like tomorrow's kind of our first day of field work and we're going to do it remotely and I think this year it should it'll be a lot less work for me because last year during the audit it was just me because Teresa had already left and we hadn't hired Suzanne yet so it was like all the photocopying and scanning and everything so this year, I'm really excited to have Suzanne. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the auditors are not coming. They're in not going to come. But he was going to come tomorrow, but then the guy who's doing it um, had a it's a poor man. He they just bought a house, I guess he and his partner, whoever it was. Um, and so he said he was super excited, and they were getting ready. They were going to move in. They had that inspection. I don't know if they. I don't know exactly the, the timeline of it all, but they just had an inspection, and there's black mold. Oh. oh. And. And all the few different parts of this house. Oh. And apparently, the only time someone could come out was for tomorrow. So I said, "Remote is fine, Ralph. Oh we'll do it. Oh, we'll do everything remotely." Oh. But yeah, I felt so bad for him like, right before the holidays and everything. And he's like, "Yeah, he goes, you know, we went from being really excited about potentially moving in, and he goes, and now he goes, we just want to get it fixed so we can flip it and get rid of it." I mean, I just oh. felt so bad. But yeah, so it's going to be remote again this year, which I think should be fine. Um, You'll have the letters to sign. Um, you'll probably get an email uh, from either him or someone else at Sickage with the uh, fraud questions. Okay. I think you guys got those last year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes they, they send it. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they sent it. it. They Did send they send it? it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a letter, I think, that actually gets sent out too, but you may also get an email because of the fraud questions. But okay. so that may be, I don't know, they might not do that to the board. There's a few staff members that get the, the fraud email. But, okay. You know, where in your processes could you, or do you see the potential for, you know, like room for fraud to happen? Have you ever witnessed it? Are you committing fraud? Right, <laughs> you know, all right, of those right, kinds right. of things. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that, the, so the audits have started now. We'll go for the next, you know, off and on for the next month or so. And yeah. then usually they finish it by January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I think you know it will also be helpful this year because um, we have been working with sick accounting, mm -hmm. and so a lot of the uh, documentation that they need for the audit on the audit side of sick edge, they already have access to. So Bridget already uploaded a bunch of things that they need. So I really anticipate so this. Take the work out. Yeah, yeah, this year will be a much smoother, I don't know, smooth, I mean, last year was just because it was still so crazy and it was just me trying to do all that stuff, but I think this will be smoother, go a little bit more quickly because they've got access already to a lot of that documentation, so. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good, okay. Yeah. Um, the last thing is Prime and that's yeah. just the CDs. Yeah. yeah. reach out after the holidays too um, yeah. just to make sure I made it through and stuff yeah. um, of course you know Omicron comes after I've made my plans to go on my trip and stuff so we'll see what happens and I'm going to hopefully everyone stays safe we do have a, a staff member that has been diagnosed with COVID oh, sure. and one that we're waiting to hear back but um, I will send out an email um, after the holidays to see when you guys want to do it, but I was thinking about doing it prior to the regular board meeting in January, if that still works. I mean, so, because everyone kind of has that second Thursday on their calendars mm -hmm. already, so, you know, we would do something like what we've done in the past, is just, you know, have that special meeting like an hour before the regular board meeting. Yep. And do the walkthrough. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of what I'm thinking right now, but I'll send an email after the holidays just to touch base and make sure that still works for everyone before I set that meeting. Sounds good. Okay. All right, um, staff reports. Do you have anything to highlight or add? I don't think so. You know, you know, I, I, it's uh, November was really starting to feel normal, ish, yeah. right? I mean, as far as those things go, I mean, we had started to have you know some interest in programming, which we're still doing very carefully and that kind of thing. But um, you know, just a lot of people took advantage of you know the holidays. And, and things kind of finally being settled in YS and to take some time off and you know, things were good. I'm going to turn the animals and any questions. I mean, I think you guys have just, you know, continued to do a really yeah. great job with, you know, kind of the hybrid, still kind of offering those, those yeah. uh, you know, online things, which I think. I guess the one thing I could potentially add is will add is that um, you know I have had staff um, ask you know if there were other plans or would we go back to being closed or whatever so what I've told staff right now is that at this point almost things got super super bad right again and we really were told we had to shut down I don't anticipate in closing the library again I think what we would do is kind of pull back on services again mm -hmm. but still leave the building open and um, but right now everyone's still kind of operating as we were just you know I sent out an email reminder today saying, you know, our use of face covering policy is still in place. It's still the law in Illinois. The mask mandate is still the law. And, you know, just to kind of remind them and back them up and say, you know, we still have the authority to remind people to wear their masks and encourage them to get vaccinated and booster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, and I know that the uncertainty is is, is hard in general. So, um, but that's that's the best you can do you're always really great with keeping in touch with me if there's ever anything that comes so, up so right now like I said I, I again unless something drastically drastically changes I'm really going to try really hard not to lose it yeah you know, so like I said just look at what we're doing for our services but as of right now we're just keeping things status quo and hopefully <laughs> I mean we'll make it through right but yeah. it's yeah. just done you know it's hard and, and staff is and just as all of you have, and everyone has, right, struggling with the uncertainty of what this means and what it looks like and, and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I'm like, okay, when I was emailing staff, I'm like, it's been a while since I've sent a COVID update. <laughs> you know, when we were thinking that, oh, you know, kind of deep breath, it was, it was, you know, getting a little bit better, and then, you know, here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. We, we share their I'm right. frustration. I, like, I mean, yeah. it's just hard to know, so. Um, Thank you. Did I? I don't want to cut anybody off. Did anybody have any any questions for him? 
Hi, Mohammed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm no, that's okay. It's all right. So, um, we did make note that when you when you came in. So, um, we are down on the agenda under um, unfinished business, which kind of can bring us right under um, executive session. So, um, I'll make a motion to go into executive session for the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance or dismissal of specific employees of the public body as allowed per 5 ILCS 122C1. So it is 728. Um, we'll roll back into open session. We will vote on items discussed in executive session. Um, I will make a motion to <coughs> approve the salary for Pamela Loeffler for 2022 in the amount of $116,500. January mm -hmm. uh, we, we try to do an annual walkthrough of the building and so what I'm thinking and I'll send an email after the holidays but in Jan before the January meeting um, we're thinking about uh, doing the annual walkthrough as a, it has to be a special meeting so that'll be scheduled directly before the regular January board meeting so just to kind of keep that in the back of your mind but I'll send out an email just double checking with everyone after the holidays to make sure I'll be in town by New Year's so. okay <laughs> <laughs> Um, communications, none. Just big shout out to Karina as always yeah. for the awesome graphic. Um, Give it to my wife. She put it on the fridge. It's, the, I, it's so cool. I love it. Yeah. It sums it right up, and the numbers are really just yeah, mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah. I know what he says. Like you know, well, people don't use libraries. It's like mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, I actually one of the things I um, um, I, when I was putting together the statistics and stuff, I'm going to take a look back because I also want to. Um, I'm going to be doing an annual report, which we haven't actually done before, so I'm going to pull that together hopefully by the January meeting. We'll see. Um, but then also looking, and I know I've discussed this with the, the board previously, is um, different ways to present the statistics in your board packets because, quite frankly, I mean, unless you really want to get down in the leads, you probably don't need to see all of that statistical information, which I find really fascinating. But for you, this is more yeah. what you need to see and what the public needs to see. So I'm going to look at kind of making that a, a more attractive and easily read graphic that you know kind of talks about where we're at statistically so you don't have to go through my excel spreadsheet <laughs> okay. okay so but yeah um karina's things and i i think i may have mentioned this in at maybe earlier board meetings but um chad has uh, participates in a marketing forum um through rails the system headquarters and stuff and so he's done um, in conjunction with a couple other librarians from um, area libraries presenting what we do for our monthly and annual reports to people. So we brought this, what Karina does, is the example that they talked about and had it presented that this is what we do here at Morning Girl. So yeah. yeah. We are so, so fortunate to have just all the staff, but I mean, to really have the talent that we've got in running this group. Yeah, yeah, for real. At the last meeting, we talked about having that in the, in the sort of the village letter that comes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, and my only question, I don't know if everybody reads the village, the, mm -hmm. the village newsletter, but newsletter, yeah. I think it'd just be awesome for people to see. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's a, that's a good idea. Because we are, we are very lucky to have switched into the last one. You know, I, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, especially if you say, can you just throw this up on your, you know, your e-newsletter, right? If you're mm -hmm. even not asking them to print anything, it's all digital, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. And then, yeah. um, yeah, I think that uh, I don't see why they wouldn't, or at least to have a link back to it from, you know, we can do 
something on our website. Right. So I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll work with Chad and I'll talk to Ralph at the village and kind of get that started. Yeah, the only thing with what you said, I mean, if, if adding that extra page would increase their printing costs. Yeah, I mean, if right. for the paper one, I don't know if they'll let us do it. They certainly can put us in their e-newsletter stuff for sure, I would think. But I can, like I said, I'll talk to Ralph. But it, it adding extra pages to any print thing is going to increase right. its, its, um, its cost. Mm -hmm. I would... I'm not opposed to having it in the village print newsletter as well, but um, we do send the print library newsletter to every household in Morton Grove. So I don't know so yeah, if, you know, does, it, is, yeah. So, but I do think that certainly asking if they can have something about us every month in there or the week, whatever they do, their email newsletter or, or occasionally. Yeah, even if great. they can't do a full page, if we can take the five most important facts from this and just get a corner in there. The only reason they, because I know me and my neighbors read the hard copy. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of them might instinctively, I hate to say it, throw the throw library the one out. Away, but look at the they village don't go one. to the library, but they'll look at the village yeah. one to see about snow shoveling or yep. leaf cleaning and say, hey, look at yep. this. Look at ours, make it yeah, smaller, too. Yeah. The print smaller, not. Yeah. So we're at a couple yeah, different the, the things. I mean, yeah. yeah. So we can, I will, I will reach out to them um, and see what we can do. Especially just for, for library skeptics that they're out there. The yeah. amount of books that go out, the amount of patrons served, if you can even just show those two, it should, like you were saying, yeah. is proof positive that libraries yeah. aren't dead. Yeah, though I do have to say that we we don't hear a lot of vocal opposition to the library. Mm. So, I mean, you know, no one's like, oh, my tax dollars are <laughs> kind of thing. You know, I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know, I've been very careful to keep the budget, you know, as, as you know, I, I don't ask for a bunch of money that we don't need kind of thing. So I think that that helps. But, um, but yeah, so I have made a note of that and I will reach out to them and see what we can do. So I know that we're already going to be, um, we do that we're in the chamber guide. I mean, we yeah. do that every year and stuff. But then we've also been um, talking to Zoe Hydorn, who is the, her title has changed. And I always forget what her new one is. She's in charge of the economic development, building, zoning, oh, whatever. Okay. I think it's economic development. I can't remember her exact title. But anyway. We have been thinking about doing like new resident packets or you know information for new residents and something we've been you know toying with on and off for a couple of years and so we thought we would reach out to the village and say what kinds of things do you guys do for new residents and we wanted to, to combine with that and so they're not doing quite what we had and we're still going to do our own thing but um, they're 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 creating um, a like a, a brochure, I guess, basically, of village services. It's very, very word heavy, so not quite what we wanted. We want something a little bit more fun, saying, you know, here's, you know, new president, check out the new, li check out the library, and here's all the things you can do, and that kind of thing. So, you know, we will be working, we will be putting something into the new resident brochure that the village is sending out, but we're also going to be doing our own thing as well. So, yeah. So that we're looking at just a number of ways to kind of get the message out. So in addition to these things, uh, we'll be doing that. But I will definitely uh, reach out to Ralph to see what we can do with the village. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Um, public, con uh, public comments, not agenda items. There's still no public here. <laughs> Everyone have a very, very happy and healthy holiday season. You have a very lovely <laughs> vacation. Thank Hopefully we'll see. I've been, I've been frantically looking at, OK, what <laughs> do I need to get into St. Martin? What yes. test do I need to get out of St. Martin? Oh my the gosh. getting out. That's the key. The getting out is the key. So and knowing before you get there. Like, yeah. I so I think we're I think we're be okay. Um, but yeah. Like, well, I'm being stuck in St. Martin right now. Yeah. Well, that's, you know that was so funny. So I'm I, worried about getting in. I did. Yeah, I did tell my dad. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't leave. I said, well, I am bringing my computer, so if I'm stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm stuck in a tropical area. I'm stuck in Australia for nine months. Oh, oh that's really? Yeah. Nine months. Hard. I, that I'm was not hard. hard. That was easy time considering what Australia did versus what we did. Well, Australia, we like Australia, Australia handled it a hell of a lot better. Yeah, so. they, yeah, they never yeah but now it's worse because those people can't even move around. Now Australia. she was able to get out before they went. Yeah, <laughs> because because now I it's know like, somebody that, can, that cannot yeah. get out. Yeah, cannot My sister can't get, get out. out. Um, Period. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, and St. Martin won't do that. So they'll yeah. let me out. It's yeah. just a matter of whether or not I've got my test in time, but I should. So, but oh my yeah. gosh. I'll let you know if. <laughs> I'm stuck there for a minute, Oh my god. I know, right? Everyone's going, yeah. You're just going to say that you didn't get your antigen test in time. We know. I don't know. I have to say another week. <laughs> right? 
Alright, well, I hope you enjoy. I um, will. It'll be nice. It's, it's one of our favorite things to go, especially over the holidays. And our oldest son is going to come with us. So we don't see him as often because he's up in Madison, and yeah. even though it's close enough. But we see his younger brother all the time. So <laughs> it'll be nice to spend some time with Tom. That's just, you know, one on one. All right, did I officially, sorry, let's see, 7.38, uh, meeting adjourned.